Welcome to Quick Baritone Sax Tips. Um, today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, raw brass uh, instrument care. Um, this is my 991 Yanagasawa that uh, I had custom made uh, in Tokyo. Um, as you can see, it's my name on it there. Um, and I want to talk about kind of the process that I'm going through. It's raw brass to uh, clean it. So a um, couple of tips that I found. Um, I've taken a, apart the entire baritone saxophone here. And I've taken all the keys off. Um, and uh, in the next video, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth about changing the oil and cleaning keys. Um, but what I've found that works pretty good on cleaning back brass, I've easily stripped all the, uh, taken all the keys off, cleaned between the keys, and then I gave it a acid bath in white vinegar and water, uh, you know, just put it in warm water in the bathtub. Let it soak for a couple hours uh, with about I uh, filled up the bathtub and put about uh, two gallons of uh, white vinegar in there. Um, and then before I did that, uh, some of the areas were pretty, pretty, uh, had uh, spots from saliva, corrosion and whatnot on the brass. So I worked on some of those to remove that before I did the acid bath with flits, uh, which is a very, uh, fine abrasive um, paste kind of uh, I've heard people using toothpaste it's a little bit more abrasive than toothpaste um, and I use that to actually polish out some of the stains and then after I did that I um, went through and put the entire horn in the acid bath for about three hours, three or four hours, warm uh, water and about bathtub full of warm water and two gallons of white vinegar um, to give it some acid. And that what that did was that cleaned up some of the oxidation, some of the oxidation off of the horn um, and neutralized um, some of the oxidation, those green spots that you see. Uh, when you have a raw brass instrument. Um, and then after that, uh, I wiped it down, let it air dry. And then I've been, I found that to, to even out and to give a good patina, um, you can use uh, olive oil. So putting a quick uh, thin coat of olive oil on the raw brass and then rubbing that off um, helps to even out the patina on the brass and uh, protects against some of those green spots that you get on the raw brass. Um, I chose to use olive oil um, because it is obviously edible, so therefore it would be non-toxic <laughs> since you're playing an instrument and um, handling an instrument and you know, breathing in the air and whatnot. So what I plan to do here is I've put in a, put a, a coat of olive oil all over the instrument, wiped it down, um, and then I'm gonna let it um, sort of uh, have a week to develop a layer of oxidation, a base layer, before I actually put the instrument together. And that will allow me to uh, even out some of the layers and without playing it and getting the instrument wet um, avoid having more of the saliva spots or spit spots or whatever you want to call them develop on the instrument finished in places where it's very difficult to get at them and um, you know I'm trying to develop that level of patina over the next week before I put it together so that it has a base layer of protection. And then I will continually, you know, wipe it down after each 
time I play. So hopefully you have found the tips to cleaning the raw brass um, helpful. Again, you know, you can use flits or toothpaste to polish out, spot polish out um, the raw brass. Um, it's a mild abrasive and um, white vinegar to give it a quick acid bath to neutralize some of the oxidation and clear some of the oxidation off. And then finally, uh, olive oil, giving a light coat of olive oil on the instrument um, will help uh, protect against when water condensates on the raw brass, giving you a chance to actually wipe it down before it really starts corroding into that brass so you can add an even uh, patina on your instrument. So I hope, you, hope that's helpful. And next week we'll start putting it together. And uh, again, BJ Jansen, quick baritone sax tips. Thank you for tuning in. Please click the subscribe button. Share with your friends. If you find this useful, click like. And I am available for lessons. So uh, please reach out. Thanks and have a great one. Thank you.